no one. I'm voting for no one because I believe in freedom in a society where the rules of society are consistently applied. I'm aware of your prejudice of me and how you find my lack of voting for someone to be ghastly. I agree with the notion of speaking your truth regardless of the consequences, and that's what I'm doing. Casey, you're right that this election is unlike any other. Never before has the irrationality of both sides of the voters been so obviously and evidently a false choice, and never have we had the media coverage for this type of bullshit. I'm aware of pretty much all the arguments and consternations that you might ha throw at me, such as, now voting means that you're neglecting your voice and therefore have no right to complain, or, don't you care about the roads, healthcare, your children, their future? What about economic safety nets? Yes, I do care about my children. That's why I'm not participating in a ritual designed to distract people from the real issue that politics is always about. Taxation. I know that when I talk about the lack of, a gov the lack of government, that you're going to treat me as a madman who's advocating chaos. But, as with you, I'm going to speak my truth. If you want to have true representation for the money that you make, spend it yourself or give it to someone you can actually fire. You cannot fire government, that is, fundamentally, how classes are made in society. The rich and the poor. The rich likewise bind with government and become corrupt, because government is corruption. If you want to eliminate the power that Trump has, then advocate, what people, that, then advocate that people opt out of politics entirely, only to speak about it to explain why any amount of action in politics, besides advocating the lack of it, is an act of immorality. Yes, politics is immoral. Taxation is theft. And in being the official theft, the immorality of the, th of the theft that is considered moral and necessary for society to function. What is odd about this is that society is obviously it is in obvious disrepair, and people are, noticeably, crazy. Democracy is not freedom. It is the road to fascism and communism. And right now, the USA is in a de facto communist state. Democracy people ruling people. You want rule and not freedom? You own nothing and everything is taxed. It is from this basic lack of care for the consent that the rest of the supposed in inability for humanity to get along and agree springs from. I like that you don't want Donald Trump to destroy America. Go a step further and play the long game of freedom. Advocate real freedom, not democracy.